Hello everyone, it's MadDog32, aka JMW Dolphin Fan. We're back playing some more Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Without further ado, let's get back into it. Last left off, we were, uh, in the temple. Uh, I said that in the last, I said this in the last video, and I'm gonna say it again in this video. Uh, if it crashes, I'm gonna start recording from wherever the hell it crashes from. Or wherever I can, anyway. Um, just to let you know. Because this game's prone to fucking crashing. And, uh, can't really save right now. Like, at all. So, there's that. Oh, fucking thank God. I was about to say no. Almost to the top. Hopefully this is all bleeding effect stuff. That's why she can do all this. I'd assume so anyway. Anyone want to end their life here unless they felt it was just beginning? That's it. After a thousand years, you're not. Oh, okay. Just looking at the thousand percent corpse, but. It's just like the animus. It's just like the animus. Oh, God. No! Layla, you stupid motherfucker. Leo, that is literally the only thing keeping you alive in here. What the fuck? This is... This is Eivor's Valhalla. Or, or a simulation of it. So what am I looking for? Will I know it when I see it? Something feels off. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, those are the weavers. Are you doing this? Are you? And so here we went in fealty to our master. Who's your master? Is he here? Fuck. They flatter me. I am only a guest in their world. A world spun of wishes and hopes. Basim, you sent the message. You led us to Eivor's grave. Yes. What the fuck? A hopeful message, was it not? How? You've been trapped here for a millennium. That's a good question. Eivor put you here. Indeed. But I'm not alone in this place. Not always. I have a friend who helps me. Together, we read the calculations. After we located Eivor's probable resting place, I contacted you. Through the digital lasses that enwebs this earth like a spider's nest. Hmm. In our day, Used all the world was connected like this. A superorganism of technology. The staff you carry, the temples you have visited, all of it speaks as one. May I show you something? I imagine you can do anything you want in this place. Mm -mm. Not as much as you might think. I am tethered to my body in a most uncomfortable way. But you can slow this machine down. You know how it works. Yes. We'll do it together. For another catastrophe is near at hand. This node of time has an ugly way of correcting itself. What do you mean? Go ahead. Would we have to set the re -bu reset button again? You're a hard man to trust. You must know that. You're not obliged to trust me. 
But this is all I can offer. God damn it. Damn it. Silence, Udur. Verdandi. Scald. Be at ease. Your day of rest has come. At peace. What the fuck? At last. We rest. Is that it? Is it done? Basim! Where are you? What is that? That's a good question. It's obviously the fucking life tree, but... Stop. Wipe everything. <gasps> again. No, Desmond? It can't be! Layla. Hello. You know me? Yes. Through the calculations I read here in the gray. Eight years ago, the odds of your arrival were 15 trillion, 55 million, 3,276 to 1. As the years passed by, those odds improved. And as of yesterday, near even. It's a pleasure to meet you at last. Who are you? And what is this? I am the reader of the calculations. All these possible futures for you and the world outside. I have spent much of my new life reading these, searching for a way to finish everything we started so long ago. It begins here. You slow down this machine and save the world, from which point all possible futures expand. Millions upon millions of possible roads. But in every one, another catastrophe recurs. The node collapses and the world is wiped out. The human race dwindles and fades. I must keep looking. I must find the solution for you. I must leave you with something. This node? This is right now where I slow down this machine? Yes. I start all my calculations from this point. The only thing I know for certain. That seems limited. How do you mean? What if you went back further? 2012 when Desmond saved the world Desmond what if he didn't save the world what if he walked away and let the world burn look at those timelines read them instead I see an interesting idea fascinating billions upon billions of new timelines to explore exactly these are timelines that never came to pass but they could have if mm. Desmond had let the world be destroyed maybe the humans that survived would have learned something from the disaster and maybe in one of those timelines, they could have found a way to prevent it from happening ever again. That sure. That is brilliant. How did you come to that idea? If you spend too much time narrowing down what's possible, you may never give another thought to the improbable. That Thank is also true. insights, Layla. It's only the beginning. We have a lot of data to sift through. Are you staying? Until we find something useful, I will. I don't want this to happen ever again. You may not have much time, Layla. The machine is powered down, but the radiation, it will linger for decades. By my calculations, you have 73 seconds before your exposure is lethal. Shit. I'm not worried. I have the Staff of Eden. It heals and protects. No. You don't. You do not. What? How? You dropped it. Fucking idiot. Of course. Of course? Fuck. All right, we'll find a solution together, however long it takes. And if that means I can never leave, so be it. Shit. Lila's making the ultimate sacrifice here. I owe this to the people I, I hurt. To the people I love. Yes, I know the feeling. Let's get going, huh? A few billion timelines might take a while. It will. But That's Desmond. It will not feel the, it's Desmond. That is what I like about this place. That's fucking Desmond. I don't give a fuck what anyone says. That's Desmond.
fuck. And here's the staff, it's permanently stuck here. Until someone can even fucking get it. <gasps> Basim! He fucking got out! He got out and got the fucking staff. Son of a bitch, we're screwed. I'm with you. It worked perfectly, my dear. Wait, what the fuck? Is the mad one here? No, my love. Only we remain. What the fuck? And Layla. <sighs> the air of memories fulfilled her role. Perfectly. Wait, what the fuck? Now then, a new world awaits. Did I get the bad ending? I don't think I got the bad ending because I did a lot. I just didn't kill the last person on the target board. And they said it wasn't required to beat the game. So I hope it didn't just hold me into getting a bad ending. I I had a choice and I chose to stay you'll wonder where I am you might wonder if I am I don't know how to answer that no I'm a turn not afraid and I'm not alone we have work to do work that may take us days or years it's impossible to say but we'll finish it what I mean is don't come looking for me. It's too dangerous and... and too late. Take care of yourself. Take care of the world we still have. And take care of... You see, she's fine. Huh? In a manner of speaking. A manner of speaking? Jesus! We have to find her! You heard her. She doesn't want to be rescued. Bullshit. In no, she's case, telling the truth. There's nothing left to save. But not Basim's long. fucking Basim's twisting you, it. You left her there. Only one staff. This, this is all a bit much. I know I'm in the same situation. No, no. You're in a class all your own, man. We're assassins now? Not hidden ones. <laughs> From the Arabic, Hashishim. Ah. We do. Who oh, is he? William Miles. William Miles. I'd like to meet William Miles. Would you bring him to me? We can call him. Encrypted line. You can talk to him right now. No technology. Face to face. A meeting of minds. I guess. It's I'm time shit. to take the fight to these these Templars, as you call them. Shit. I won't go anywhere, my friends. Your animus is in good hands. How much do you know? My dear. We invented such things long, long before you did. I'll figure it out. <laughs> Don't tell me we're fucking Basm now. Okay. Cause I'm confused. Is he a bad guy or is he a good guy? Cause I thought he's a bad guy. Pretend to be a good guy, and he's really working with some fucking person from the Isu. It's a nice place to die, Eivor. Not everyone gets to choose. <laughs> you bested me. I don't know how, but you did. Yet, I'm the one left standing. Do plot! 
You now, fucking got plot. I can you literally got plot dubbed. I want. Your memories, your skills, your secrets. They're all mine. And when I have them, I will put them to good use. To find my children. And bring my family back together. Fuck me. I can't fucking believe this. Hello, little fella. The squirrel. Save it here. What the fucking weird upside down world timeline am I living in? This can't be the real ending. There's no fucking way. Hold tight, love. A new world has opened to us. Once I get my bearings. There is nothing we cannot achieve. We're playing as the fucking bad guy. We're the fucking bad guy. The bleeding effect shouldn't take long to kick in. A few days at most. So here we go. I'm saying we have to jump back in. Like, you know what I mean? I... I have no words. That is the biggest twist ass fucking ending they pulled off in a long time. And the fact that we know like Basm's like the reincarnation of Loki. Uh, once again, my dumbass did not connect to him too. What the fuck? We still don't have the the final fucking target. Like, I don't have all the clues somehow, even though I've beaten the fucking game and like I've done the entirety of their board, so I'm a little confused. I'm probably gonna wanna look that up and then do that on the fucking screen. <laughs> Cause holy shit. What the fuck, game? This is so weird. I, I, I don't even know where it's gonna put us. I assume we're gonna head back to Ravensthorpe and like announce I'm the clan leader and shit. I'm still like dumbfounded. I legit don't know what to say about that fucking ending. I feel like that ending's gonna piss a lot of people off. I think that much. To me, which if that's the best ending, fuck me. That would be hell if that was the best ending. That would be like, oh shit. It's gone bad. Real bad. Okay. It's also weird to know where Basm's gonna end up later. <laughs> ah, shit. Steady, Avon. Still not gonna explain Rita, huh? 
We don't need now. She's immortal. Hey, you gave me these cool face tats. Eivor, Sigurd. Tovi. Welcome home. Uh, we're gonna cut it here. Uh, I don't know how long the next video will be, but uh, it will be as long as it needs to be. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will catch y'all in the next one. Peace.